Hello everybody. Uh, it's Sunday. It's a beautiful day outside. Uh, lane finds have been back. I have uh, three different groupings, so I'm going to make three different videos. Uh, it's sweater weather, so I have many layers on. Um, yeah. Uh, again, if you have anything at home that you are thinking about getting rid of, put it together in a bag and just donate it. Take it straight to the shelter. Just don't take it to Valley Village. Um, they say they're a not-for-profit, but you donate things for free. They resell them, and then they use that money to pay rent, staff, all that kind of good stuff. I don't know what percentage of what we donate uh, in proceeds actually goes to the charity that they claim. I don't want to sound like an ogre about it, but just be aware. That's what actually happens. And another myth that I think people um, believe you... Um, it, it, nobody's washing the clothes when they get there. Like there's not some big like laundromat situation. There are no washing machines at thrift stores, Goodwill, Value Village, charities that you're donating to. So they want the clothes to come clean because they're going to sort them and give them right back out again. So somebody mentioned, I was like, doesn't want Value Village wash everything? No. They do not have the capacity, they do not have the time, and they don't have washing machines or dryers. So make sure everything's clean before you donate it. Anyway, on to donations. Uh, I found these Puma sneakers, which are great, they're brand new, and I'm actually gonna use those because mine are worn out. I found those along with uh, an extra large American Apparel hoodie. Anybody that remembers American Apparel will remember how popular these hoodies were. So that was one thing on one uh, walk. And on the same day, I also found this bag of clothes. Um, really cute stuff in here. Just a, It's all very small size. So I'm gonna package everything up and this is all clean. I'm gonna package everything up and uh, call my contact Gloria and she will come and grab. Um, my friend Marilyn picked up on Saturday. She actually works at one of the homes. This is cute. This is Guess. It's a nice floral um, button-down blouse. Really nice. Um, these shorts are cute. I know they're out of season, but kind of fun. Um, True Religion. Polo for somebody that's really kind of tiny. I don't think I've ever been a size two. And this is fun. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> um, this dress is amazing. Uh, it's just a size small. Look at that. Woo. Beautiful. <clears throat> Denim jean vest. Cute. Um, shorts from Garage. It's off season, so this bra is so padded. I've never seen a bra this padded. Somebody for really tiny boobies who can um, push them up. I'd say it's like double padded. And this uh, swimming thing, it reminds me of like the old days. People used to like swim in something like this. All packaged up in a nice bag. So yeah, that's one lot. So I'm gonna make a couple more videos. Be right back. Hey everybody, back for video number two. This is a big bag. I found this on um, my walk home last night. Um, it's from the, the giant bag is from Urban Behavior. Some good warm stuff in here. This says Girl Boss. I have a giant bag of donations that are ready to go. This is clean. I love this flannel and it's so soft. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. Isn't that cute? It's, our, it's got like the, um, like the sleeves are like that. I don't know. It's always a pain to put this in a jacket though. <laughs> I'm picky. Uh, socks. Some brand new Victoria's Secret underwear. I checked them, they're brand new. 
Brand new tidy whiteies. I checked these as well. Yep. Brand new for the dudes. Um, another pair of socks. T-shirt. I kind of like how it's a different color on top. It's cute, eh? Um, another like this is like a I don't know if it's a dress or a sporting outfit something you wear for competition it's got um, stuffing in the boobs we call those cookies that's what they're called let's just see the tag here yeah large yeah just made of polyester and elastine I don't know Somebody will figure out what to do with it. <laughs> I really like this shirt. I'm going to keep it. I don't give it a wash. It's oversized, extra large. But it's super cute. I love the neck. So it's just like hang open. That one's for me. Uh, denim. It's a really cute mom jean. I might try them on. Uh, a nice blazer. It's, uh, like it's this is from Dynamite, but Wilfred does something like this like every year. Um, a black version. Some little lint there. Sorry, I'm disappearing behind the clothes. <laughs> um, yeah, some fitness pants or whatever, running, yoga, more denim. Spending a little bit more time checking the crotch. Those are okay. This is a Banana Republic skirt, and whoever owned it was super tiny because they took it in quite a bit on both sides. Uh, shorts. Uh, they're cut off American Apparel, or um, oh, and again, very <laughs> like <laughs> they're all uh, modified. They're cut off, um, actually from H and M. So that might be fun for somebody who's really tiny. More shorts and a pair of sneakers for tiny, tiny feet. So yeah, don't forget to check pockets when you <laughs> find stuff. If you are finding stuff like I am in the lane and re-gifting re it, definitely check the pockets. Cause one time I found five bucks. You know that money that you forget in your pocket? <laughs> anyway. I have one more load for you, so I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> All right, this is my last pile. My hair is falling out of my ponytail. <laughs> um, I just found this this morning. I went for a walk with a friend of mine who has two dogs, and then on my way back, I stopped at the produce stand to pick up some produce, look for a pumpkin, because we're gonna carve tomorrow, and I wanted to bring my own, but I couldn't find one. Grabbed a coffee, and on my walk home, I found these clothes. They were just laying on a piece of furniture on the side. And of course I couldn't find a bag. So I had to stack everything in my arms uh, along with the few groceries that I bought, the fresh produce, strawberries, bananas, and some grapes. And then I put these over my arm. So this is really cute from H&M, size two. Somebody really small would be really happy with that. This is a white hoodie. It's made, it's Karen Scott. It's really, um, I'm just gonna zip it up here. I like it a lot. Um, yeah. I just stopped for a second because today's the day that we found out that um, Matthew Perry passed away, drowned in his hot tub. It's really sad. He went, he struggled quite a bit with addiction and mental health, and I really hope. Um, I mean, it's super sad that he's passed. I just hope that it was an accident and not um, suicide, because I think that would be even more sad. Anyway, 
Oh, Matthew, we loved you. <laughs> you made us laugh so much. I hope you're finding peace. Uh, I guess uh, like a stretchy kind of mom jean. Um, I've never heard of the brand. It's called True Craft. Yeah, it says right on the tag, mom jean. 1% uh, spandex, 99% cotton, made in Bangladesh. I don't know. They're brand new though. I might try them on. This is cute. Just plain, um, I don't know where the tag, there's the tag. Uh, turtleneck. That would actually look cute with this. You put those together. Yeah. Not my style, but somebody might. As the buttons on the turtleneck are massive. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Um, sort of a little crop uh, teddy jacket. Everything is washed. This is super cute. Right? Nothing in the pockets. Um, the brand is True Craft. I might just run a limp brush over it and I might keep this. And these are pants from Zara with a tag still on them for 80 bucks. Yeah, brand new. They're a size two. There's no way that those are gonna fit me. So I might actually exchange them at Zara. I've done that before with other things that I've found. They're brand new. They still have the crease in them. I don't know why the, the tag is red for both of them. Maybe that's this season, I don't know. Anyway, that's it. Those are the lane finds. I hope you guys are having a great weekend, uh, enjoying this beautiful sunshine that we're having. I went to a Halloween gathering last night. It was a lot of fun. It's great to go to something like that and have really good weather. But yeah, rest in peace, Matthew Perry. And uh, good luck to all of you out there with your lane finds, donations, and just with your Sunday. I hope you're well. Cheers. Hello everybody. Believe it or not, I'm back with a fourth bag and I have different clothes on because I just came from a dance class at the community center. It was free and it was so fun. She taught us a whole bunch of basics. So now I can uh, go to an event and fake like I know how to dance. But because I was out again and it's so beautiful and I don't know, it's getting close to the end of the month. I'm not sure what's going on, but this is the fourth bag in like the span of three days. I just wanted to share it with you. So this one has some children's clothes in it, which is kind of fun because I will definitely donate those. Oh, this is a fun t-shirt. <laughs> I am your father. <laughs> oh my God, that is so good. So good. Oh, some little spooky tights. A couple pairs of those. Um, oh, it, these are pajamas. Oh, they're so cute. I don't know what's in these bags, so I'm just gonna go through. Children's clothes. Yeah, it's probably a lot of children's clothes, so I'm glad I picked it up. Because these can definitely go to somebody who can use them. Oh, that's like just basic. That would be really cool to shoot in. I'm gonna say, give that a little wash. These are not washed, just so you guys know. Oh, this is so cute. This is Zara. Little boho blouse. Definitely keep that for warmer weather. And also for a shoot, here's some more little people's clothes. Oh. And some little, these are really warm. So hopefully somebody gets some use out of those. Some more Zara, Zara t-shirt. I like it when they do a detail like that. It's like you could dress it up. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is from Miniso. It's kind of cute, warm top for this time of year. This is interesting. Oh, yes. Love and chaos, and the eye is kind of peeled off. That's really funny. Um, another mini so mock neck. Uh, so cute. 
I'm really glad I picked this bag up. Oh, wow. What is this? So it's got a, this is super cute. This is from Lucky Brand. Definitely wear this in the summer. Yeah, it's in really good shape. Beautiful dress. Summertime. Living is easy. Oh, this is nice. Uh, again, from Uniqlo. Nice t-shirt. Somebody really liked the mock necks. Yeah, I always look at the labels. I'm guilty, guys. I'm a label looker. Oh, that's a nice tank. Good for a good wardrobe stable. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Allergies have been going a little crazy. Oh, looks like a basic tank dress. Yeah. I think it's, well, it could probably be a nightgown. It does have some fuzz on it, so I can get it off. Yeah. Nightgown. Super basic. I'll probably keep that. Oh, and some more little people's clothes. Oh, those go with the little um, woolly pants. And some really great uh, paper bags. So that's it. Hopefully that's it for a minute. Uh, Gloria is coming by to pick up soon. And uh, yeah, this is a really old distressed shirt that I love to wear uh, when I go to the gym or when I'm dancing. I hope you guys are doing okay. I hope you had an awesome weekend. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon.